Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome to a brand new day for Road to TC World 2018. If you're watching live on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, Ruben, you were the first one indeed. Hello, hola Henry. Uh, Wildman, thank you so much for being here. Um, AJ Remo, the winning list is right here. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rayleigh, hello, Jedi, hello. Joe Bro. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for being here, uh, Gumi Girl. I do plan on doing Fire Red later, but by later I mean later today. So I'll be doing. Um, actually, no, never mind. Um, I didn't have time to stream yesterday, and my schedule is actually looking pretty busy for today. Um, I don't have too much time to stream right now, and I really want to do more TCG content. Um, so the fire red nuzlocke will have to wait probably until tomorrow afternoon. Okay, tomorrow my afternoon is lucky is looking um, a little bit more more free. So I'll try to do that. Um, I'll try to play the fire red then. It's just it's been a hectic weekend. I was at the special event and I didn't have a chance to <clears throat> to to grind up the Pokemon. It's been a crazy a crazy weekend honestly. So. Um, so yeah, lots of personal stuff and um, Pokemon over the last few days. Um, I will be updating the SCP right after Mexico City Regionals, which is this weekend, with probably the final count, well, with the final count before NAIC. Um, I did not use Baby Boss indeed. <clears throat> I used Zoropod. Hey, Kaiser, muchas gracias por las felicitaciones. And hello, Shadow Lab. Thanks so much for being here. <coughs> I have a kind of a cough, guys, so please bear with me. And my hair is actually crazier than ever. <laughs> I really need to get a haircut anytime soon. Um, any tips for cheap Lele's in real life? I mean, try to search for non-mint ones, like plate-conditioned ones, maybe on eBay. Maybe that's the best way to go about it. <clears throat> <laughs> Jedi, always with being the champion. So yeah, guys. Um, today I'm gonna be featuring two decks, hopefully, with the time that we have. Number one is Zoropod. This is the list that, um, <clears throat> that I used to win the special event. Thank you so much to all of you saying congrats. Um, I miss you guys too as well. Um, sorry that I couldn't stream yesterday. It's just been quite a few hectic days. Um, but yeah, um, this is a list that I used to win the special event in Mexico City. The card right here is... Um, counter catcher, a one off copy of counter catcher. Um, there are two enhanced hammers, there are four Zeruas, there's one Cynthia. Um, <clears throat> I, can, I can remove the chat just a little bit. And Diamond Warrior, thanks so much for hosting the stream. So, this is, yeah, so now you guys can see the full. <clears throat> The full the full list uh, energy is for DT and three grass of course, and the main idea for um, for the deck is obviously um, to use set up Zorg with its ability trade, drawing extra cards by discarding cards, and attacking with Raichu speeding, and also using Colisapod with uh, its 210 HP, uh, its attack first impression 30 plus 90, if I, if it was on the bench, and then armor press dealing 100 and preventing the um, the damage and finally crossing cuts um the white snake thank you so much thank you so much for the bits very very kind of you thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much and thank you jack brown for the congratulations um <clears throat> yeah i can definitely tell you guys how the rounds went i have them written down right here um how did sam do sam actually didn't come to this special event um but anyways that's the main strategy of the deck and i like I liked the idea of Zoropod with two Mew EX because this gives you the, the Psychic and Grass combination gives you a one energy response to one hit KO whatever it is that Puzzle has. Yeah, that was that was a big appeal for using this combination of types. And Mr. Rayleigh, thank you so much. Thank you so so much for um for the bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so so much. Um so yeah. The main idea is Grass Typing defeats Lycanroc, Psychic Typing defeats Puzzle, and then Puzzle is no longer running the Baby Mew as a counter to Mew, so it's actually not very easy for them to deal 120 damage fresh to a Mew, it's actually close to impossible. 
Um, they need the only way they can do that is with Rageroc, Diancy, Choice Band, and the the Beast Energy. <laughs> and Ruben, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for the for the bits. You guys are very very generous. And I see now that uh, Twitch finally uploaded or updated their football thingies, and now they do fall into the into the jar. Um, but anyways, that was the reasoning behind choosing this deck. I wanted the consistency that Zora gives you, and I wanted the typings. And I also like that the deck has an inherent advantage against Malamar because it has so much draw advantage, and it has parallel to mess with them, and it has a natural res psychic resistance. So all of that added up to me choosing this deck. Um, <clears throat> I ended up against playing against just one bus rock in round one um, of the special event, so I'll give you guys a rundown of the, of the rounds. Um, I ended up playing against one boss rock round one. I lost the first game really quickly because my hand was very clunky. And at that point, I generally thought it was just going to be a repeat of the, um, of the, um, of the previous, um, of the previous special event. But I ended up turning around the game in the next two games. And in the last one, my opponent misplayed by, I used Mew to copy armor press and then he miscalculated the damage and my Mew survived and that guaranteed I won the game like I still had a very good chance to win but that guaranteed 100% that I won the game and yeah viewer battles are on Friday guys and I don't think Laurentis promo could fit um, as you guys can see I did play a professor Kukui for the extra damage I think that's the way you solve it but mostly the way you deal with baby boss is with Mew EX because like another baby boss unless it's sledgehammer turn it it doesn't really take out mu ex so mu ex is usually taking down um two baby bosses on its own yeah so that's really good that was the reasoning for double mu and that's what happened in in the matches against boss rock in round one um uh, maybe baby mu what i mean mu ex was just taking prizes uh back and forth and then round two i played against gustavo wada um, the number one ranked Latin American player right now. Um, did I take Seeking with me for luck? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't actually own any Seeking, uh, but I do need to get some. Um, <clears throat> round two, I played the mirror match against Gustavo Wada. We were playing pretty much the same sixty cards, um, one or two card difference. Um, we had tested the night before together. We had agreed that Zoropod was a very good choice. Um, and I ended up beating him 2-0 in the mirror match. Um, I just generally drew a bit better than he did. And in the first game, he had some prizes that cost him. And then in the second game, I just drew better. Um, we were both making the right decisions. But Jedi, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Very kind of you guys coming through with the bits. Thank you guys so, so much. Very kind of you, Jedi. Uh, Ruben, Mr. Rayleigh, and the White Snake. Thank you guys so, so much. Very kind of you. Um, so yeah, that was my round two against Gustavo Wada. Um, it felt good to beat the number one player in Latin America, which has been like we've been competing for that stuff for that spot the whole season. Um, he's definitely cemented himself at the top, but it felt good to to beat him. A uh, bad move. Keep your luck for worlds. Well. After six months of bad luck, I really needed this win. <laughs> and then round three, I played against um, Rafa. Thank you so much for the extra hundred. Very kind of you. Can't can't let the other guys beat you, huh? Can't let the other guys beat you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, round three, I played against a Psychic Malamar deck, which is generally an insanely easy matchup. Um, the guy didn't even have Marshadow, so he had no way to deal with Zorak pretty much. Um, and then the double muse just dealt with the Mew to GX and the Crow's Mouse very, very easily. He was very surprised when I benched the second Mew. Um, <laughs> and then um, round four, I played against Caleb Gedimer, uh, the number three ranked player in the world and number two in North America as of today. And he was also playing Psychic Malamar. Um, we had played a couple of weeks ago at Madison, uh, where he beat me. I was playing Zoro Rock, and he was playing Buzzle, and he beat me. And this time around, I had the matchup advantage. Um, and game one, I pulled off a really cool move where I counter captured his um, his Marshadow to the bench. Okay, so his Marshadow had copied uh, Don Wing's GX move, uh, Moon's Eclipse, so it had protection. But he was down to one prize card and I still had two. So what I did was 
uh, counter catcher Jack Brown. Thank you so much for the five bits. Um, what I what I did was counter catcher the Marshadow back onto the bench and then Kuzma it back up and then I knocked it out for the game. And then game two, um, the match was once again very very close and I I ended up lose. I end him to one and he needed Kuzma and he top tech the Kuzma. Um, which it happens and then game three he didn't get a very good start time was running low I wanted to I was playing fast so I could knock out six prizes and make sure it wasn't the tie um, but then he ended up conceding before time so that was nice um, and yeah uh, definitely the first four rounds were included some very tough competition then at 4-0 with six rounds I was able to just ID round five and six to guarantee that I made cut um, and then in top cut, in top 8, I played against Christopher Shemansky, who has been doing this whole uh, world tour of events. Um, he was in Singapore, I believe, last week. Last weekend he was in Singapore, and then he came to Mexico City, and then he's coming back for the regional as well this weekend. Um, and then he's obviously very good, he's in top 16 contention, and he also writes for 6 prizes, he's like my boss technically. <laughs> and so... Uh, he was playing Buzz Garb and game one, um, both games I was on the favorable, favorable side of variance. Um, like I, I had the field blowers when I needed them, I hit the double puzzles when I needed them. And game one was um, close, but I was able to, to have control over it. And then game two, it looked like that was under control. Um, he was about to make a comeback where I had zero cards in hand and I top decked a... I top decked a um, a Cynthia, and that put me right back into the game. Uh, yes, this is the winning list, Fiora Boss, and eh, Throwaban Zoro puede es mejor que Zoro porque y me fui por esta versión porque puede matar a lo que sea del deck de Bossol con una sola energía. Coliso Pot se encarga de Lycan Rock y Mew se encarga de los Puzzles. Mientras que Zorark Lycan Rock no tiene esa posibilidad contra el Lycan Rock del oponente. Um, so, yeah, this is the list. Um, and then that was top 8 against Christopher Shemansky. Game 1 was even ish. Game 2, I got lucky with a top deck. He was probably going to make a comeback and we would go to game 3. Um, <clears throat> Jedi. And then uh, in top 4, I played Ether who won the special event in Cancun. He was also playing Zoropod, and it was a mirror match. Um, it was a pretty pretty intense mirror match. Game one, I was down three prizes to six, but I believe he was not very proficient in um, in playing the mirror match because he got rid of a couple of Zerolas, or he got rid of at least one Zerola down the line, like when he was trying to trade and uh, get a keep ahead in the price count so I was very patient and I was able to control the pace of the match and I was also able to Pearl City myself at one point to deny him the prizes and his win condition and and that completely sealed up the game like I was able to out resource him because he was not very careful with his resources and Rahul thank you so much thank you so much for subscribing that's four months in a row I believe yeah now you have a now you have a an orange table one subscriber badge thank you so much Rahul thank you so so much and so that was uh, game one of top four and then game two I um, he dead drew so I basically dunked him it took me like two or three turns but I basically dunked him um, and then that secured top four and then I was waiting for my opponent. Uh, the other matchup was Caleb Gedemer against my friend Juan, who was using the Zoropod list as well. So I figured um, Juan was a favorite, but Caleb was able to pull it off. And then in the final, um, completely different from our round, um, Caleb's deck just didn't cooperate in either game. He conceded game one like three or four turns in. And then... <clears throat> And then game two lasted a little bit longer, but he started Mewtwo and he had to commit to benching Necrozma as well, as well at one point, so the double Mew just was too much for him. And Fiora was no, sorry, um, it's only on Fridays that I do uh, viewer battles and Pokedex and stuff, yeah? Um, so yeah, that was the final. Um, the round seemed, uh, seemed to take longer than the, the final took like 
25, 30 minute stops. Um, so we were all happy that we were going home a little bit earlier than planned. And yeah, I got myself 200 more championship points. Uh, the account here is very, very wrong. I now have 1495 championship points, which is very nice. And how about we jump into a ladder and check the deck out whilst I talk to you guys more. Um, if you have any questions about the deck or anything, please let me know in the chat. Um, you're testing a Malamar deck with regular Necrozma GX for internets. Do I think it's a good choice? Um, Jack, I would recommend you go to a Limitless TCG site and check out the, from the results of the Mexico City special event. Check out... Um, <laughs> Check out Caleb Gatermer's list, um, which he got second place with. I was very impressed with that list, and I would say that's probably close to, if not the best, um, Psychic Necrozma, Psychic Malamar list, pure Psychic Malamar list there is. Um, yeah. Is this the spice for this Saturday? I don't know if it's the spice, um, but it's definitely a good... A good choice, I believe. Um, going into NAIC, what is the strongest Zoark deck when compared to the other Zoark decks? Um, okay, so I think the strongest Zoark decks are both Lycanroc and um, Lycanroc and Golisopod. And why is that? Because they they don't rely on something like your opponent playing item cards to for you to deal extra damage. They are actually good uh, sustainable partners to the Zoark. I mean, not to the Zoark, to... They're a good sustainable partner. Yeah, to the Zoark, exactly to the Zoark. Um, so I'm gonna go for the Bridget here just because I'm gonna have a thread already powered up and I really wanna get those Zoruas and I'm gonna get a price card here. Um, so yeah, the point is, um, Golisopod and, and Golisopod and Lycanroc are very solid in their own, in their own right, yeah? Uh, they provide versatility. Golisa, but the grass typing is very important for opposing um, for opposing um, lichen rocks and stuff. So the typing is very good for Golisa, but Zoark. The consistency is there with Zoark, and then lichen rock is just an incredibly powerful card. And um, how they go, how they compare to Malmar Ultra Necrozma matchups? I feel like. Both have a favorable matchup. Um, Zorak Lycanroc definitely has the better matchup against them even, uh, simply because they have the one hit KO option with the GX move on an Ultra Necrozma, whereas Zorak Lycanroc doesn't. Um, or it does with the Professor Kukui, but it takes some very specific cards. Yeah, and that's only because I'm playing Professor Kukui. Not all lists are playing Professor Kukui. So our, bo between both of those, I think Zorak Lycanroc has the better matchup against Malamar. Um, am I watching the game on Saturday? Well, I'm gonna be at the regional, Ruben, so that's not ideal um, to watch, but I'm sure there will be a TV with it, or I don't know, it's just round one will be happening, or will be in, in between rounds, or maybe, yeah, round one should be, should be starting when the game starts, so I can't, I unfortunately can't watch the game and play the regional at the same time. Um, Diamond Warrior, welcome back. Sorry you got timed out. Um, that was the bot that did it automatically. Um, what do I think about Zorak Puzzle? Um, I mean, it hasn't made a splash anywhere yet. I feel like there's merit to it, and I was thinking about it just the other day. Because it's like, you get the best consistency card with Zorak, and then you get the best attacker in the puzzles. And with Malo, that's the best way to guarantee P-strings and stuff. So I feel like there's potential to it for sure. I do feel like there's some potential for it. Um, okay, so we stay asleep. We do have the Guzma, so I think I'm just gonna knock out the Vlodstone Malamar. No reason not to. Um, I will go ahead and attach the energy. That's completely fine. And then we're just gonna armor press for the KO here. Um, my opponent's start, obviously not the greatest. Um, I don't know why you would play this Dustman Necrozma in the Ultra Necrozma deck, but that's up to my opponent. Okay, so streaming. And then this is Zorak called Lisbon, and we'll probably end up playing like two games with it. And then we are up against Ultra Necrozma Malamar. Yeah. Okay. So my opponent decides to retreat into the double Malamar. 
he's top decked a supporter. Yeah, he top decked Sycamore, which is fine. Which is fine. Um. Uh, Pablo, this is the first time on Twitch. How will subscribe to your Twitch channel? Um, Miwisino, if you are watching on a computer, um, up here, there should be a way for you to subscribe. There should be a button that says subscribe and it'll give you the different options, the different tiers for you to subscribe to. Um, if you're watching on an Android phone, it should also give you the option on the app, but I'm actually not sure how to do it. Um, because I don't have an Android phone, and then if you're watching on an Apple uh, device, it probably you probably can't. You have to go to a computer. But right above my head, if you're watching on a computer or when you get to a computer, there should be the the option. And Tuan Wee, thanks so much for the follow. And new idea for Patreon: a new Pokemon card full art. You and the style of how the other supports are drawn. Thoughts? Ah, uh, that actually sounds pretty cool. Uh, Jedi. Once I run out of the table munchy exes, that actually sounds pretty cool. And hey Alex, thank you so much for being here. Um, that actually sounds pretty cool, Jedi. That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, what would my supporter or trainer do though? Like, because we already have table mon the card. What would it even be called? Like a table mon spirit link or a table mon. What would it be called? Okay, we're playing against the, the deck that we, that has been going the rounds in Gurgeist Rotoms, I guess. Uh, that This card is actually pretty sad for my opponent. He has already gotten rid of three Sycamore, so if he was in trouble already, then this is just worse because now an N will hurt him even more. And then we have the Raw Bridget, which is the ideal start here. Um, I as long as I control me with Sino, thanks so much for the follow. Um, wait, how did he? Yeah, oh, he got rid of all the sycamores already. Okay, yeah, we should have this game honestly, just based off of that. It's too many resources lost. Um, you could just call it Pablo, yeah, <laughs> I could just call it Pablo indeed. Um, thank you so much, empty more for the for the congrats. Um, and that's okay, mi huisinho. No tem problema. <laughs> um, cuando você puder, ahí faz. No tem problema. Uh, but thank you so much for, for considering subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps out. Yeah. Um, okay, so my opponent, how did... He, okay, he field lowered his own tool card. He's trying to get all those tool cards into the Discord pile. By having less Sycamore, it's now going to be even harder for him to do it. Um, I don't really mind this Finding Fury build. Like, if I have to do it, KO this, that's fine. Um, or if I find the Field Lord, that's also fine. Uh, there's no Fighting Type Rotom. I think that's my opponent's biggest issue here. There's actually no Fighting Type Rotom. And therefore, he's never going to be able to one-shot a Zork. Yeah? Tailmon's Last Resort. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. Or Tablemon's. Hmm. It should be called Tablemon Guide. To reuse the Tailmon GX move. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah, like something where you can turn. Um, you can turn Tablemon into a different type. Like the like the tools for Seal Valley. That also sounds pretty cool, actually. And it's gonna be a picture of yeah, it's gonna be me with a tableman and a bag of MMs just ready for battle. <laughs> Table leave. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um I didn't get oh I just need to bench another Pokemon and then that's it. Never mind. I thought this had 130 HP for some reason. Okay, I'm generally not worried. What do I even call this deck? Rotoms? Just Rotoms. Um, okay, so we got our price card. Oh, it could be a Prism card. Pablo's board flip. <laughs> Pablo's... Pablo's anger. Pablo's... I don't know. It would probably have to do... It would... 
I would like it to do something that increases the consistency of your deck. Mini 50 print. <laughs> I mean, once we settled on what it does, then yeah, but that could be something I could do. Or maybe that one could be the card that I sell, because I know a lot of people have asked me how much I would sell the Tail Munchie X card for, um, but I'm saving them for patrons. I want them to be exclusive for patrons. So, so yeah. Tailman GX does 100 more damage and is immune to damage during your opponent's next turn. That would be pretty broken indeed. Um, okay, still not enough tool cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 tool cards. Um, I want to keep the Lele there so that I have a target for. Um, so that I have a target for. Uh, for this GX move to just get my last two prizes. Um, so, Isorola is gonna actually be clutch. I'm not gonna be playing the Parallel City. Pablo's Fiery Wrath. <laughs> Shuffle as many cards. That actually sounds pretty balanced, Diamond Warrior. Shuffle as many cards from your hand as you want and draw until you have seven cards in your hand. Yeah? Professor Tailman. <laughs> I mean, the whole point of my channel is to teach, right? So there is merit to that. Do I knock out the Ranguru? Do I I think I just knock out the the pump kabo, right? That's the bigger threat here. The Rotoms are not a threat. The Rotoms are definitely not a threat. As in you per time print is 50 cards. Um Yeah, like I would only print I would make it limited. Right, I would only print 50 and then once those 50 are gone, they're gone. Yeah, like the table one GX is. Plus 20 M&Ms next turn. Something like, if, you, if you're eating a bag of m and if you're eating M&Ms during this game, you're, all your Pokemon do 20 more damage. <laughs> or have plus 20 HP. <laughs> okay, so Rotom once again, my opponent did end me, which is fine. I generally don't need to be able to play field lower. All right, I mean I could want to play field lower at some point, just not anytime soon. Generally, just not anytime soon. Um, I don't get Guzma, which is fine. Um, is there any threats? One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm gonna remove the. Okay, so I'm gonna help my opponent by removing the tool cards. I just don't want Gurgeist to clean up my Pokemon. That's what I don't want. I don't want Gurgeist to come and clean up this Kalisapod. Yeah, I just need to take another KO on whatever is in front of me and then I'll go after the Lele with Choice Band, Guzma, GX. Um, if you're eating M&M's big four prize cards. <laughs> what about a Tailmon Energy? A special energy that counts as colorless and makes Tailmon GX do 30 more damage. That as well. That could also be an option. Um, <laughs> thank you, Miwi Sino. Um, I don't have a list for Puzzle Zor, but generally it's something that I was thinking about just just earlier today. Like if it could be viable. So I will. I, it won't be today. It won't be today. Uh, but I will try to come up with something. Okay. I will generally try to come up with something. I I can promise you that. Okay. So my opponent goes for the pumpkin bong pumpkin bump only dealing 30 damage so i generally think this is gonna be game over pretty soon um just trading here my opponent isn't even going to get a price card i mean i i generally wouldn't even mind using the gx i do hit double puzzle though which is great double puzzle and the choice man so i'm gonna take down the lele I'm actually gonna take down the Lele. And I'm gonna grab two Guzmas. <laughs> heal, heal 10 damage for every MM you have eaten this turn from all of your Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I don't need to do that. And we'll just cross and cut here. Yeah, I mean, that deck won a couple of cups and that's why it got attention. I don't see how it's decent. And there's a win. Okay, so the, all the two games have been quite quickly or quite quick. So we'll just play another one. 
The energy needs to do 50 more damage. Uh, thank you, Maox, for the congrats. It was a special event, not a special cup. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi and yeah I mean whatever next card I do I'm gonna make that available to anyone yeah that's what I'm gonna be that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna make it available to to anyone who wants it the table bungee exes are more special in that regard uh, because they're safe for um, they're safe for patrons but um, but uh, something like that which could even like not even have the full art print like it or it could it, I could make it like the regular version the regular trainer and then another version as well I don't know if I'm gonna bench the I don't think I'm gonna bench the other Wimpet just because I don't know what I'm up against Tablemont Stadium costs one energy less to attack yeah that's also a possibility very true <laughs> okay we're probably we are probably going up against Malamar I would assume Probably going up against Malamar. You can see a Lele for a Bridget. A Brigetti Spaghetti. And yeah, there's the Bridget for Triple Inke. Okay, so now we have the choice to go for Bridget because we have the Evil Soda, but I don't think that's quite good enough. I don't want to play the Prowler yet either. <sighs> yeah, I can't go for Bridget here. So I'm gonna discard these two. Um, and I'll grab the Lele. Hey, hola Dan, muchas gracias, saludos hasta Argentina. Um, Peak Electric, the Tailman GXs are getting shipped on the weekend of NAIC. Yeah, I'm gonna arrive to, um, I'm gonna arrive to, 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 to Columbus. And the first thing I'm gonna do on the Thursday that I arrive is I will already have everything packed up um, in envelopes and stuff. Oh my gosh, I went ahead and grabbed the Bridget. That's so dumb. I was just saying I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> that was me going into automatic pilot. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess we went for the Bridget. Um, so they will be shipped on the Thursday. Um, on the Thursday before NAIC, which is on Thursday, the 5th of July. Yeah, Thursday, the 5th of July. All the Tailmont GXs that have been confirmed up until that day will be shipped. Yeah. Um, how we have? Hey, thank you so much for being here. Um, what made me play Zoropod? It's because um, grass typing allows me to deal with Lycanroc, and the two Mew EXs allows me to deal with Buzzwool. So it's the only deck in the format that's consistent enough and also has one energy responses to the puzzle threats. Yeah, that's why, it, that's why, um, that's why I um, played it. Yeah, okay, the end top deck is pretty good here. Um, that's why I played it. Eh, ¿Cuántos leles llevo? Llevo tres leles en este juego. Uh, what do you think about the Zorak Malamar deck from Cancun? It's okay, it's just nothing splendid, in my opinion. Um, you can barely afford the bench space and then one one parallel just kills you. And, ¿por qué no bajé el parallel? Porque quiero esperar a que baje algo más para quitarle el L y que tenga que quitarle un Inke o alguna otra cosa. Um, so yeah, I didn't play the parallel because... Um, I didn't play the parallel because I wanted. I was hoping he would bench something else, and therefore I would force him to get rid of the Lele and then probably the Ink instead of just the Lele. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna wait. I'm still gonna wait. Um, the card should be like the same artwork as Sycamore. Instead of papers flying, it's his M and M's. <laughs> yeah, that could work. And Cyber Future, thanks so much for the follow. Okay, we get double thingies. We also get to attack the Lele, which is great. Um, I'm gonna trade away the Bridget here. Um, I do have uh, Table Mud GXs left, Henry. I do have Table Mud GXs. We haven't had 40 people sign up yet, so there are still 
quite a few left. Don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, it, consistency and versatility also helped in making the decision to use um, to use this deck. Yeah, uh, but the main thing was. It has the inherent consistency of Zorak decks, but it also means, or it also, um, it also helps that um, it has the, the two best typings to actually deal with puzzle decks. Yeah. Um, Joe, bro, you saw Caleb's list and saw that he played Hoopa. I actually think that Hoopa is better than Mewtwo, and why is that? Because Hoopa, the the extra damage that Hoopa deals, despite the restriction, um, means that. Um, means that you you two shot Zork without having to play choice bands, and you place just enough on a Zork and more than enough on a Golisopod to have a f or a, on a Lycan Rock, if you will, so that Black Ray GX can finish off those guys. So that's why I really like the Hoopas, and I actually think I was very I was a very big fan of um of Mewtwo and I actually think Hoopa is probably the best one moving forward. After I saw it live and after I played against him, that made the most sense to me. Um, is my Zoropod list posted anywhere? Not yet, but I will study FPS. Um, I wanted to wait until the stream to reveal it then. Um, I already profiled it earlier, I can show you if you remind me once this game is done. I can definitely show you the list here on screen. Uh, but I'll be sending it to the limitless TCG guys so that they can add it to their to their database. Okay, so my opponent plays a parallel himself, but chooses not to save the Lele, which I am completely fine. And I lost a Lele and the Tapu Goku, which is also fine. Um, I won't be able to finish off this Lele yet, but I can do it later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade. Uh, now I definitely don't want to play the Proud CD because that thing is on the bench. So the Proud CD is an expendable card. The grass, the extra grass is definitely an expendable card. And yes, it is Hoopa from Steam, Steam Siege indeed. It is Hoopa from Steam Siege. Um, and then trade the gold Elizabeth, I guess. Okay, so we did get the double puzzle. <laughs> We got pretty much everything we could have possibly wanted, honestly. Uh, I need to click this. How do I feel about Malamar? Malamar is definitely the most fun one, but it's also the least broken one, I think. Because you require so many cards to do something. Like you require the Malamars to be set up, you require the Psychic Energies to be in the discard, and you require the, um, the attackers to be ready. That, I don't know, it's just not my not my cup of tea quite yeah um it's good don't get me wrong it's good but i think it's uh, it's just not as broken simply not as broken as um it's not as broken as work and it's not as broken as puzzle and thank you Rhea. thank you so much for the congrats um and what does the table one gx look like sam seraphim let me show you actually oh let me take the two prizes and this is what table one gx looked like yeah that's the table one gx card on stream and i actually have them right here with me i got them printed i have them like they are printed on actual pokemon cards yeah so the light doesn't help us but this is the table one it's actually shiny the shininess resembles the um, the shininess from um, from the normal GXs. Okay, out of the sleeve, maybe it looks better. Yeah, and you can get one yourself if you go over to patreon.com slash tableman. They have not sh shipped out yet, Rhea. Um, I will be, because I don't trust Mexican mail, <clears throat> I will be shipping them when um, I'm at NAIC. That's when the first batch will finally be shipped. So I apologize for any delays, but that's when the that's when I um that will that's when they will ship out, yeah. Um, and hopefully that means they will also arrive much sooner. E Kevin, 
No, porque al subir a este lo obligo a que tenga la Floatstone y no quiero que se deshaga de su Tapulele y no quiero que se deshaga del Tonwings. Aquí están los cuatro premios que necesito para ganar. So someone was asking, why didn't I play parallel and bring up the damaged Lele? Um, it's because here are my four prizes. This is how I win the game. Yeah, I don't want to free up my opponent's bench space. I just knock out Lele and then I knock out Tonwings and then that's game. That's how I win the game. Yeah, that's how I generally very easily win this game. Yeah, that Dawnwings. I always want that Dawnwings in the in the in the in play on the bench. No matter where it is, I just always want it there. And I'm actually gonna Isarola back the Tapu Goku to free up the bench space here. Um Yeah, I mean even if Dawnwings comes up and GXs, that's completely fine. Honestly, I mean, that's probably what he's going to do. That just means we take two turns to win. It's fine. Um, so yeah, Mexican male, just not very, not very trusty. Um, can you show it again, please? Yes, of course I can show it again. The actual card is right here. Yeah, this is the actual Tablemon GX card. And let me... Yeah, this is the actual Tablemon GX card. Let me get it out of the sleeve. Jeez, my hair is crazy. Please remind me guys to get a haircut. <laughs> um, this is a Tablemon GX card. Yeah, it's shiny. It's like a regular GX. It's a very high quality, high quality print. And they will start shipping out. Like whoever goes to NAC and should have one will get one there. Um, I've went parallel me. And then um, afterwards, Um, or rather, I will ship the ones that need shipping and I will hand out at NAIC the ones that I can give to you guys then. Uh, send it to rate for Gamman 10. <laughs> um, indeed, collapsing Grebel. <laughs> I definitely have Zoropod. I feel like Zoropod put me back in the groove and honestly. When I streamed Zoropod the other day, and you guys were telling me like, oh, you look very confident with this deck, you look like you really like the deck, blah, blah. Like, that definitely put things in perspective. And I was like, well, yeah, why don't I just play this deck, right? Like, I feel comfortable with it. I think I'm very good with it. Um, it's consistent, it's good. So why not, right? Why not? So you guys played a part in me um, playing this deck. Okay, so all we need now is to wait a turn, pretty much. Um, all I need is Guzma, DC, and another Pokemon to knock out the Stone Wings. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Um, I'm gonna attach here, even though this guy probably goes down. And then I could Cynthia, but I already have the Guzma. So I'm just gonna ride just beating. And that's okay, Pick Electric. I'll just ship you yours. Yeah, don't worry about it. I will ship you yours. Just make sure that your patron information is um, completely up to date, and I will very happily ship you yours. Okay, the only way my opponent wins here is if he ends us and we don't get the Guzma again. Yeah, that's the only, only way. But he decides to go for Guzma himself. So that's perfectly fine by me. This just means we win. Four Pokemon that's 160 damage, so the 20 spread from Tapu Goku will end up mattering. And then we just Guzma for game. Yeah, then we just Guzma for game. And thank you, Miwi Sinyo. <laughs> thank you so much. How's the idea for the Pokeball command going? Oh, I generally had forgotten about it. <laughs> I generally, if you, if you know how to program it, um, I will be happy to include it. I just, I don't know how to program the command. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be all for Zoropod for today. Um, you guys saw the winning list. It's pretty solid. It's very consistent, which is always very nice. Um, that was one of the main reasons why I stuck with it for the event. And it's probably going to be the, the reason why I stick with it for Mexico City Regionals next weekend. So now we are going to move on to play um, Vamos a el deck. Uh, thank you, Tama Drummer. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. Um, this is the deck that I used. This card is Countercatcher. This is three Leles. This is to Enhance Hammer for Zerua, one Cynthia. 
and then four DC and three brass. Yeah. Um, this is the list that I used to win the second Mexico City special event. Pretty small event, but it did have some fierce competition. And honestly, I was very happy that there were so many players from the top 16. And yes, of course, Big Electric, I can sign your tailmon. Um, there were so many players from the top 16 in North America present, and then only two of them made top 8. So I feel like that speaks of the level that we have here in Mexico, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the list. Now I'm going to move on to showcase uh, towards puzzle list, which is actually different from the one that won the, the regional in Madison. So I'm going to be moving on to that. And I will be right back. Okay, just one second. <laughs> 